Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a great way to get some uh, speakers out or by your pool, by your garden, by your fire pit, uh, somewhere outside. Um, so, you're going to need at least four things. Uh, going to need some sort of amp. Um, today we're going to, we're going to use the uh, PCA4 from Pile, um, about $45 from Amazon. Uh, you have two inputs, auxiliary input here, uh, which you can put in your, uh, you know, plug a phone into it. Um, Bluetooth speaker or something like that, or you also have an input here for the RCA jacks. And then of course you have your speaker hookups here. Uh, but this guy's great. Um, I have a couple of them. You can uh, you can also adjust the treble and bass here as, as well as the volume. So that's the first thing you're going to need. You don't need to, to buy one if you have a regular amp somewhere and you know uh, like your home stereo or something and you want to wire up some outside speakers you could do that as well. Um, but uh, we're gonna, use, we're gonna go this route. Now the best the best place to put this is gonna be in the house and then run the wires outside. Um, that way it's not out in the weather. Uh, we're not gonna do that. The next best thing is to put it in some kind of shed. Uh, if your shed is near where you're gonna where you're gonna wanna to hear music, we're not gonna do that either. Um, so the third thing is you can build a little box for it. And I did that before um, a few years ago, and I have one. Uh, the next the next one up from this. Uh, which I didn't need to get apparently because this one is perfect. Uh, but anyway, it's been sitting out there for uh, two and a half, three years, and it's fine in that box. Uh, wasps will get in there, but nobody ate any wires or anything, and it's it's fine. So I'll I'll show you that one too. Um, so anyway, if you have an amp, great. If not, uh, I recommend this guy, forty five dollars Amazon. Second thing you're gonna need is a way to pipe music in. So you have your phone. You could plug it right in with an auxiliary cord, um, but then you gotta get up all the time and, and change the music or check your phone or whatever. Um, what I recommend, and they don't even make them anymore, but you can still find them on eBay. Um, this is a Chromecast Audio. So this is what you get in your package. So, power adapter, little circle, which does the magic, and then the audio uh, auxiliary cord. So you're gonna like that, and you can uh, use Google Cast, which you can do on either iPhone or Android, uh, and just cast music right to this. As long as this is, is close enough to get a Wi-Fi connection, then you're good. So probably set it up in the house, and then once you're once you're done, bring it out to where you want to go, and make sure it still gets a connection. So this is two things so far. Third thing. You want some uh, speaker wire. Uh, this is wire I had left over from a project. Uh, this is 12-2, so it's 12 gauge. Uh, and 12 gauge is a little overkill for speakers. You could go with uh, 14 gauge or 16 gauge even. Uh, like this 12 gauge won't even fit in the uh, in the back here without without uh, stripping a tiny bit off here to make them thinner. So. Um, that's what you need. So you need, uh, and you want to you want to try to get your speaker cable about equal lengths. Uh, if you don't, that's probably fine too. I just always like to do that. So usually this guy is centered in between the uh, the speakers. Then the fourth thing you need are some kind of speakers. Uh, so these guys I bought six years ago. I looked it up, 2014 in May. So just over six years ago. Um, and these have been outside for six years. Uh, these are Bose. Um, you can see this thing, the top is starting to be funny a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I have a pair of these. Now these are expensive. Six years ago I paid $500 for the pair. Uh, you don't have to do that though. Um, I actually found another set uh, from TIC company. I'll link those in the description. Those are $158 for the pair. So these used to sit by the pool, both of them. Uh, so what I did is I bought four of the TIC ones for $300. And now I'm gonna have four speakers out by the pool powered by the one pile that's, that's out there. So this guy is gonna go over by the fire pit and garden area. Um, and then we're gonna build a little box for him. So that's about it. Uh, if you have other speakers, um, I don't know if you can see the two speakers back here. Yeah, you can kind of see that speaker there. Uh, that's a that's an outdoor speaker. I think that might have been forty-five-ish dollars or fifty dollars, maybe for the pair. 
But those are outdoor speakers. I'm just using them in the garage because sometimes it gets moist out here and stuff. Um, so let's get going. Um, first thing we're gonna do is uh, get the site ready. Um, now these speakers, this style at least, you wanna bury them into the ground till about this high. Um, and then supposedly the, I, I've never buried these, so um, I was always too lazy. So for six years, I've never buried them. But you wanna bury them about this far into the dirt. Um, but yeah, these are all weather, rain on them, anything. Same with the uh, the TIC ones, which I'm gonna show you. So uh, I'm gonna bury those as well out by the pool. So let's get going. All right, new plan. So I went over there, but I don't know where I'm gonna put those speakers. So why don't I show you the one I have already? So here's a box I made for the amp. And it's right next to the GFCI type uh, power. Whoop, there goes a uh, wasp, just flew out. Anyway, that's where he lives, along with the Chromecast. And let me get rid of this while I'm here. Uh, this is one of the TIC speakers I told you about. And so what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to bury it, see if it, uh, see how it goes. But, so I have four of these. One here. Uh, one over there. One over there. And one over there. You can see it right there. So, I'm going to bury a couple. And I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna uh, play a song on these before burying them, so I can remember what they sound like. Uh, so all I'm doing here, and you probably can't see, so I'm gonna cast to pool speaker. So that bloop noise was uh, was that. Let's play this. So this is music from the YouTube audio stuff, so we're allowed to play it and not get in trouble. That's pretty good bass. Probably hard to hear for you guys. Let's try a different song. I know about the weeds. I sprayed them. Just wait for him to die and I'll peel him around. So this sounds pretty good. So, let me go ahead and bury these. And uh, we'll try those two same songs again. See you in a bit. Alright, we're back. So while I didn't bury it as uh, deep as some people do, I buried it quite a bit. Um, after taking off all these large rocks, uh, there was a bunch of gravel and dirt mixed together, which was a little difficult to dig through. So I got to a point, and uh, I like that point. So it's nice and level. It's buried pretty well. Let's see how the music sounds. Let me go back here. Oh wow, it's a lot bassier. You probably can't tell in there, plus I'm sure it sounds terrible with the recording over the phone. But it sounds great. Now that's what the Bose sounds like when I had it back here. And actually the Bose was not buried. Let's go back over this guy. Yeah, you can tell this is uh, the hollow. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, so... These are a great option. Oops, sorry about that. Great option for speakers. Um, you can get these again on Amazon. 158 for the pair. These are the eight inch. I'll put a link in the description to those. I'll also put a link in the description to the uh, that pile amp for forty five dollars. 
and uh, remember as far as speaker wire just get some uh, 14 or 16 gauge just landscape wire that's all I used you want to make sure you can bury it um, but I got a lot of work ahead of me today I got to bury all this all the cable go into that one to that one and bury the rest of the speakers so uh, thanks again for watching and you have a great one